when David was killed, uh, the, the army came to tell me he was in the reserves. And I apparently said, you may not kill anybody in the name of my child. Of course, I don't remember that. But I, and I knew almost immediately that I was going to do something to prevent other families from experiencing this pain because, you know, I'm a fixer, but this you can't fix. So you choose, what are you going to do with this pain that stays with you daily? It never goes away. It's always there. Do you harness it to make a difference? He invited me to come to East Jerusalem to meet other bereaved parents. And that's where I met Palestinian mothers, specifically the mothers what got to me. And I looked at them and I realized that, you know, we stood over the grave, the tears were the same color and the pain is the same pain. So why, you know, if we could stand on the stage and talk about nonviolence and reconciliation, wouldn't that be the most powerful example to people who heard us because we're the least likely people to do this. Yeah. And so that's what became my life really. Yeah.